Hey everybody, and welcome to Far Cry 4. Uh, I recently picked up the Uplay Plus, which is a subscription service with Ubisoft, where I think it's $15.99 a month, gets you access to basically their entire library. And one of the games I was interested in playing again was Far Cry 4. And the reason I was interested in that was because um, I played this game a while ago on PlayStation 4 and loved it. And I think it is my favourite in the series. I think uh, 5 was good, um, obviously set in America. But um, there's something about this kind of like, look at this majestic looking backdrop here that I just, I, I really liked. And as much as it became a cliche, I really liked the radio towers uh, in Far Cry 4 as well. Like I thought they were interesting. Um, the Far Cry games I've always really loved. They've just added that kind of like that bit of chaos, I think, to video games in total. And I was keen to try out Far Cry 4 and see what it looked like on PC in 2020. Um, and I can tell you, it still looks really, really good. Um, yeah, because I mean, I guess the thing is, modern. Like I'm getting about. 80 frames per second at the minute here and I've got everything turned up to the max let's use this and get down here a little bit and um, yeah it does drop to about 60 sometimes but I mean I have everything on the max so it, it's kind of makes sense I guess oh they just killed some people there help the rebels fight okay where are they is, it, is he one no he's not Um, but yeah, it still looks really, really good uh, all these kind of years later. Uh, especially when you're kind of looking out over here and kind of see, like, wow. Looks really nice. Let's uh, get on and do a little mission. This is very, very close to the start. Obviously, it's past the, the start. And uh, I don't think it's a spoiler to say that you can complete the game within a matter of minutes. <laughs> to begin with if you uh, just sit still at the start just let you know that but um, obviously there is a whole game to play rather than do that so uh, yeah um, I think I need to go back to the camp oh I've got some skills to, to do and I'd be like I would press okay I've got to complete some quests for that oh I probably want more health because I do tend to to get hurt quite a lot. Um, let's try and work out the controls. Yeah, I think I need to go up there and speak to somebody up there. I just did a, a radio tower, so the question is how on earth do I get back up there? But yeah, I think like distance-wise, it still looks really nice. It's a lot of the textures are pretty nice. This guy's a merchant. Hello. Oh, oh. Because I've got like the you play thing it's uh i've got lots of like extra stuff as well i'm using this one the ajm i don't know what it is it's like a little handgun thing it's quite cool i do love a bow <laughs> always loved the bow i remember that being quite a good gun i think as well and i've also got some yeah i've got the stormer now as well it's more money than i've got so i can't afford it but some of these are like unlocked now uh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, like this thing's like a burst fire handgun, which I just think is pretty darn cool. So I just decided to use it. Um, there's some rebels up there. I really need some form of transport. Is that a turkey? I got him. Yes. Of course, one of the fantastic things about the uh, Far Cry series was always the animals, which were just a bit mental. And uh, I think Far Cry 4 really took them to the next level in it as well. You know, the kind of, you know, releasing the tigers from the cages and that type of thing in camps and just causing that sort of chaos. And I always really liked the fact that there was loads of different ways you can do things. You know, you could... I mean, I guess you could argue Far Cry 3 did start this off, but I think Far Cry 4 just got it. It, it 
took it to the next level, if you like. Um, uh, especially with like the grappling hooks and things like that. I don't know where he or how he manages to throw that with such precision. AJ Garley is just a he is a legend today. Um, yeah, and with Far Cry 6 obviously coming out, I know it's been pushed, but it's still coming out. Um, very excited to, to play that. Um, with old uh, Giancarlo Esposito in it, um, who is in just about everything I watch at the minute. He's in The Mandalorian, he's in The Boys. Uh, cheek, cheek. <sighs> Purple leaf. Um, yeah, he's in just about everything at the minute, so... Might as well be in video games. Here we go. Saval says I shouldn't be doing this. I am teaching you to protect yourself. Hello. Ah, the tourist. That's me. I'm Amita. This is Badra. Like, the facial models you can tell are a little bit older, but has some really the clothing looks really good still. I think, and it doesn't look too bad at all. I don't think. We're at war. Keep losing soldiers, the work keeps piling up. Is there anything I can do? I'm not a soldier, but I want to help. Okay. Sure. There's a farm not far from here. Kanan runs it, but she's old and she could use your help with some wild animals. I mean, it is important to remember this is six years old. It came out in November 2014, so. Considering that, I think it is looking very, very good. Oh, she gave us a bow. I do love a bow. Don't need that. Try not open it in the village. That would be a bit weird, but okay, fine. Also, I guess we'll use the bow, but it is considerably worse than what I was just using. Uh, we want to go up there. We might as well take the quad bike. I was going to say there is a thing there. Of course, the driving in... Uh, Oh, it was always a bit weird, I think. Not having, like, right triggers accelerate was a bit weird. But you do get used to it. And it, and it is also a bit crazy as well, like first-person driving. I like the fact that they keep it first-person, though. It's much more immersive, despite being a lot harder, I think. Right, was there enemies here? Or what? Nah, there isn't. There's a little nose on this. Okay. Oh wow, what happened to your pigs? Uh, Amita sent me over. She said you might have some kind of wild animal. <coughs> hey Amita, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Wolves are a common nuisance for Canaan Farm. She's killed off a number of them, but this year they're especially aggressive, and I'm worried about her. There's a den nearby. Clear it out, huh? I think Canaan has supplies for files somewhere on her farm that you can use. And Ajay, skin your kills. We can always use the pelts. I'll skin these? No. Rubbish. Okay. So we're going to have to take out a load of wolves with a bow. Sweet. Let's do it. Oh. Nah. Didn't get him. Dead pig. Oh, there's one. Do I have to line him up like that? Oh, yes. Clean kill. Double skin. Yeah. down a little bit. Oh, that did not count as one of the walls though, unfortunately. Uh, I've only got five arrows left. I should be a lot more careful, shouldn't I? Lovely. And I mean, Far Cry is always a bit ridiculous, right? There's it. It's not a serious game. 
I think they 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 try to be like get people involved in the kind of politics of the game by being a little bit ludicrous which uh, it it's the nature of the games like they are very political games um in what they do they just do it in a kind of a a tongue in cheek kind of funny way but, you know a bit like something say like saturday night live or something like that is like it's incredibly political but it they try to you know have fun with that situation rather than being you know, doing it in a very serious way whether that works or not is you know people will tell you yes or no I guess okay so there's a couple of them down there right let's get on down there I guess shoot some wolves with a bow and uh, yeah I think that the, the mountains in the background just look incredible I do remember when this came out being very excited to play it and same with five as well just there's something satisfying about the water looks really nice as well um something very satisfying about just clearing a map i think in far cry compared to like some other games they are quite littered with things obviously you can see all the diamonds here and they get worse <laughs> but um yeah i do think they are really fun games to play I hope 6 kind of keeps it that way oh shit how many arrows have I got left oh, they've run off they've blooming well run off run into their little den can I get this pelt no, I can get some arrows. And is that a young boy? That's a bit harsh, isn't it? No, well, can play with wolves. Oh, there's a pig. Yeah, <laughs> we got the pig. Don't know if we were supposed to kill the pig, but we did. Kill these wolves as well. Skin, wolf skin. Ah. Tibetan wolf skin. Right. What was that? Gotcha. And you, Sonny with Jim. Oh, we look at you running off. Oh, there's another one. Hello. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get out of it. Ooh. You know what? Good thing I got that extra health bar, wasn't it? I wasn't expecting a third one. They ambushed me. Clever girls. Destroy the wolves, then. Yeah. We've only got 100,000. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, quick fire arrows. I don't mind if I do. Alright, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, there's another wolf's den up here. Hang on. Oh no, that's return. Okay. Okay, let's get the old uh I haven't no we can't. I'm gonna leave him alive as a warning to the others. Someone's gonna pass on the message of what I did there. <laughs>
it is a bit mental driving these things around. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Hey. Vajra, how are you? Good. I, uh, brought you these pelts. I thought maybe you could use them. Hmm. It's a good Ajay. But you keep them. She has enough for her Tanka paintings. I'm sorry, Tanka what? This one is about the life of a guru. Ooh. This that one good. is about the demon Yalung. This one is about the goddess Kira. And that one is about Vajra. The next Tarun Matara. Tarun Matara is a living goddess, if you believe Sabal. It's no life for a child. Being treated as an object, thing. <sighs> Thanks for your help. Later, I'll show you how to put those to good use. Okay, the wolf's den is complete. Ajay, when you have time, go see Longinus. He's a friend to the Golden Path, and he'll be grateful you helped us. Longinus, you said? Yes. He's a weapons dealer and a priest, if you can believe that. Longinus is a little crazy, but if you want guns, he's the man you should see. I'll update your map. Oh, hi, guys. Okay, first off, though, we can craft some stuff. Yes, weapon holster. Yes. Anything else? A quiver? With that pigskin we got. Cool. So now we can have more than one weapon. We don't have any more. How many? Oh, we got one. Okay, cool. We can. The eyeball ledge thing, I don't think is that useful right now. Repair tool. Twice as many leaves when you harvest. Reduce damage of fire and explosions. I mean, that's just that's just standard, isn't it, really? So, Longinus, let's get in the tuk tuk. And let's go. Out of my way. <laughs> get out of my way. Right, first off. Where the hell are we going? Where is this Longinus guy? There he is. Minute. And auto drive. Boom. Yes. Oh, uh, no. I'm going to talk to this guy. Yeah, dude. Let's trade. Yes. Okay. We'll sell what we had. Then with sidearms. Yes, excellent. So we've got the that burst gun and then as a normal weapon. Do we really want the hunter bow? We can buy a recurve bow to be fair. Ready. We could get the AK. Get the MP34. Or we could put a signature in there. Elephant gun. That's a lot of damage. How about this absolute beast? <laughs> yeah. Your business is a <laughs> Let's go. I need to get my tuk tuk. Alright, easy bro, easy. Let's go. Tuk tuck in. Or, alright, chill out bro, I was just wondering if instead there is a, there's a glider over there I think I could use, which might be because they're a little bit quicker, uh, alright guys, chill, it's a little bit off putting when you have the gun like immediately out. <laughs> In the car, it's just his default pose. Immediately get the. What happened here? No, oh, how odd. I 
think the glider's down here. Yes, it is. There's also a zip... Ah, oh, no, it was on there. But I took it. Where is it now? <laughs> I'm gonna need a glider. Somewhere. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure there's another one around here. How sure? Mm. Not that sure, apparently. Okay, any signs of a glider, guys? Doesn't look like it, does it? Get up here. Okay. Just checking there wasn't a glider up here. Doesn't look like it. We don't have the wingsuit at the minute. I think that's important to note. To my knowledge, anyway. Don't really want to try it out. Yeah. Okay. I think there's a zip line down here we'll, we'll take anyway. I'm sure the guy does respawn. I just don't know how long it takes. I remember taking it. Oh, no, it's not. There it is. Yes, it did respawn. Get in. We start gliding. We're rolling. I'll save you the uh, and that's the yeah that's the radio tower we started off at over there. Okay. See if we can get all the way there. I mean, this is it's definitely like the wingsuits and everything like that are just like so iconic to Far Cry's like open world, you know. Ubisoft. <sighs> They're a funny old studio, aren't they? Because you feel like they have they have this very strong theme going through all their games. These open world games, at least. And yet, they do feel quite different. Like, if I go from this and go play Watch Dogs now, it's a very different game. Uh, you know, go from this to Assassin's Creed. Like, it's a very different game. Like, all the things you're doing. But they use a lot of the same core kind of components, I guess, and probably the same engine as well. Um... Look at this, looks like we are getting all the way there. Impressed. I'm impressed, RJ. We need to actually pitch down a little bit. We might overshoot it. Okay, I'm gonna land it over here. <laughs> cool. Cool, bro. This is a great landing. Oh, it's a, I thought there was a fight going on. Let's go speed to Loginus. Welcome. I am Loginus. And you, you are AJ. Welcome to my church. Away from church. That sells guns? Of course. Well, the meek shall inherit the earth, my friend. All they need are some good guns. Revelation 5-5. Five, five. It is the most invigorating read. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David has prevailed to open the book and loose the seven seals thereof. Uh, it is I... our savior. It is our savior returned to us as a lion, a warrior. So I started thinking to myself, when the Son of God is reborn, what gun would he use? When Christ returns to break the seven seals and bring about the rapture, he returns as a lion, yes? A lion needs teeth. What gun would Jesus choose? Deuteronomy 3247? For there are no empty words for you, but your very life. Or maybe Revelation 1911. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger. No one's deferring my anger, I don't buddy. Know what you're talking about. A soldier knows. A soldier always knows. For we have seen the rapture and survived it. You need guns to do righteous work, AJ. 
Akkor a lasikant. Shoot some people, please. Uh, God, I need to get to up there in five minutes. Holy shit. We better start moving. I'm not sure if I trust myself. I need the waypoint as well. What have I got to get to? Basically, I got to turn around. I wish you could remember what it was like back then, Andre. Your mother and I, with you on her ship. Oh, those were the days. She was never happier than she was back then, and I should say the same for myself. We had such plans, not just for our little family, but for Kirat. It wasn't always like this. I longed for those days, but then it's too late. I tried. I really, really did. Whoa! Whoa, I'm on fire. And of course, yeah, Pagan Min. The bad guy. Uh, we know that. I'll drive up, I think. And get up the... Uh... Oh, shit, ah, sod it. We'll go up the... Uh... I think this is probably a quicker route. Also might be a little bit of a sneakier route. Yeah. Oh, oh, so I got stuck on the other grapple. Um okay, what's going on here? There we go. A little bit of a you know. Yeah, let's stop here, and then we're we're there with. Pretty only took us about a minute and a half. Right, let's go shoot some bad guys. I'm here, Saval. How can I help? Damn it. Keep your head down and stay for wherever you can. I'm not far. I'll be there soon with help. Where are they? Uh, they're not. Oh, let's go up there. I don't really like this gun. This is much better. A scorpion. Oh, let's go up here. Behind me? Where behind me though? Oh, there. Hard to tell sometimes with all these people running around. Get a shotgun. Nice. Where's the rest of them? Defeat the reinforcements. Sounds like a helicopter. I wonder if I can get my gun back. Yes, I can. Oh, I'm on fire.
Huh. Oh, this guy's behind me. Uh, oh, not you. Him. Getting used to this gun a little bit more now. It was a bit of a. Uh... Oh, there's someone over here because they're kind of looking over here. Getting her out, don't worry. <laughs> Come on. That's it, thank you. He's down there. How do we get in here? Oh shit. Shit's right through. How do I get in? Everything's on fire. <laughs> Bind Vadra. Oh. Vadra, Vadra, where are you? She's downstairs, isn't she? We got her. That's it, AJ. Such a badass. I'm all right. The people need to see her. It'll comfort them. She's just a child, Sabal, and she's terrified. I'll take her home, and then we'll worry about the people, okay? Thank you. You're okay. We're such a hero. Such a hero. This is what we get for rescuing Ajay. We hit Paul's house, he slaughters a village. This isn't on Ajay, it's on me. We can't worry about that now. They took the outpost, and they have hostages. Fine. The outpost first. Without it, we're cut off from the others. So yeah, it's Far Cry 4. If you haven't played it, it's good. It's still good, um, especially on PC. These are homes. People lived here. Lives were destroyed today. Have scan rebuild, but you can't replace the life that was lost. But yeah, these guys aren't too happy about what happened here. By the looks of it. Namaste. Brother, we need to talk. Shabal. What is it? I'm needed in Banapur, and Amita is focused on the outpost. So it's up to you to help with the hostages. I know it's a what hostages. Sorry, I just wanted to update my weapons. Tell them that one. I could get a sniper rifle. I don't know what the elephant gun is, so I don't know if I've ever tried it. But Amita said the outpost is important, but our top priority should be the lives of those hostages. The people of Kirat depend on the Golden Path for protection. We cannot let them down. Rescue the hostages, brother. Okay. There a post here or something. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, um, you know what, we'll go rescue them now, solid, we'll do it on camera. There's another glider as well, we use the elephant gun. Oh, it's like a double, oh god, this could go badly. 
Let's go get those hostages. Yeah, it's definitely a stunning game, still. Um, we're not going to get very far, are we? <laughs> no. Ah, syringes, yeah. Forgot about them. I don't think I ever used those. I can play through. Something in this house, apparently. Is that people outside? We're only 300 meters away. We can run. It's a, it's a beautiful day in the Himalayas. But yeah, I was thinking the other day though, it's a bit weird that we haven't really seen a lot of um, Far Cry 6 yet. But then I also thought, hang on a minute. You sort of also launched Watch Dogs Legion and um, are launching Assassin's Creed Valhalla next week. So, yeah, it kind of makes sense. They don't want to probably show anything. You know, if we're lucky, we might... Oh! I got him. Oh, hello. Oh, this is good for hunting animals, isn't it? skin yeah not gonna get a clean one are you with this to be fair it's more like a, a stopper than a is that tree floating there not fascinating oh there's some enemies we can try this on okay he just flew and he he flew again cool yeah this gun's pretty cool Oh, and my PC crashed. Well, there you go. Maybe it isn't so good nowadays. Anyway, till next time, guys. I guess that's it. The good news is if my PC crashes now, it just, this just goes to black. But um, yeah, till then, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.